Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Serene. In today's video, I'm sharing with you my super easy everyday makeup routine. On my community tab, I asked you guys to vote for which video you'd like next, and this was the second most popular one, so I'm sitting down and filming it for you. Most days, I don't wear a lot of makeup, and I will talk you guys through the products I'm using, but I do interchange products quite frequently because I love testing out products, and I'm very lucky that uh, brands want me to test out their products. Plus, I'm just a beauty curious person. My true, realistic, easy, no fuss, everyday makeup to kind of just let me feel a little bit more put together. But I also am really okay with not wearing any makeup. This is just, you know, because I want to feel a little bit more put together. My lips are always chapped, so I'm just applying a little bit of the Tatcha, the Kisu Lip Mask. I use this as my everyday lip balm. Really enjoy it. But if I feel like lethargic, not my best, I will go on and slap a tinted moisturizer. And sometimes I'll even just wear tinted moisturizers to meetings or events. One I'm currently using is the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer SPF 20 in the shade Bisque. I will have all the products linked down below. This is just really lovely. It's been a cult favorite for years. I really like the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue, the original one. And you can use your hands, but I'm just going to buff that in. You can see it's very, very lightweight and very, very subtle, but it does even out my skin just a little bit. Now, some days I don't even do a tinted moisturizer. I do a tinted SPF, and my favorite one is from PCA Skin. This is their Sheer Tint Broad Spectrum SPF 45. It's the most silky, natural finish. See how it's tinted? So you'll never get that white cast. You'll never get that gray look with the SPF. It's so good. It blends beautifully onto the skin, and it works on most skin. Skin tones they've tried it on darker skin tones now, this isn't going to give you too much coverage but I do feel like it takes down some of the redness more importantly it's a physical SPF using titanium dioxide and zinc oxide which is what I recommend every single day you should be wearing an SPF 30 or higher make sure there's a physical SPF in there I'm gonna use some concealer and this is the radiant creamy concealer from NARS I'm in the shade medium one custard now this is something I kind of use with or without a tinted moisturizer I just like to use this stuff to kind of even out any redness. I don't feel like I have to have it to feel presentable. I feel like the older I've gotten, the less I care about whether or not all my flaws are concealed. If you guys watch my recent skincare routine, I tell you how old I am. I'm a lot older than most think. So I'm just gonna blend this out. Honestly, most days I just use my fingers because it's easier and faster. I recently got this box from Detox Market. Detox Market does these monthly subscription services. I love Detox Market. It is a great place to kind of start with cleaner, toxic-free beauty products. This month was Well People, so they feature a brand every month. I discovered a lot of amazing brands. What I love about it is that you really get a nice variety of a brand that you get to test out. They did send me everything that is possible in the box this month. So for day to day, I do like to use cleaner products. The Well People Bio Brightening Invisible Powder. I, I was actually using their bio base baked foundation in medium neutral. Since I wanted to share with you that box, for those of you guys who are curious about cleaner beauty products, especially makeup, maybe you'll want to check this out. I think it's really kind of cool that they do this. And I'm not 100% clean, guys. I do what I can. But I am loving some of the products that are available in terms of the clean, toxic-free makeup that's happening. I really like that finish. It just mattified everything and kind of blurred everything too. Next I go in with my brows. This is the It Cosmetics Brow Power Powder. Still working on this for my project pan, so I just comb through my brows. While I do have brows, they're very wispy and they're not very dark in comparison to my hair. I always kind of feel more confident when my brows are filled in. See? I could just run out the door now and feel so much more confident just because my brows are done. How many of you guys feel that way? I envy the people who can run out into the world and their brows just look full and fluffy and I'm just like, what did you do? And they're like, oh, I don't do anything with my brows. And I'm like, part of my project pan is using up my Milk Makeup Kush Fiber Brow. So I'm still working on that. And I just kind of do this because 
This way my powder won't go anywhere. It also tames a little bit of that wispiness that my brows kind of have. All People has this Bio Bronzed Bake Powder that is available in this month's bag. Box, bag box. This is in the shade Natural Tan 1. Might be a little too tan. It's very tan. I just have to blend a little more. To make things easier, I'll just use the same bronzer all over my lid. There's also this nudist eyeshadow in Luminaire from Well People, and so I'm just gonna tap this a little bit and put it on my brow bone. gonna deepen up the outer corner a bit more with this bronzer you know instead of having a ton of different products you can get something like this cover effects face palette which is awesome it's the perfecter face palette this was in March's boxycharm but it should be available uh, on cover effects website love the large mirror but more importantly you've got a blush you've got two different highlighters a brightener a finishing powder a contour but all of these can be used on the face and the eyes it's just very versatile in terms of a palette and if you're traveling this would be all you really needed for most travel situations. I always like to line my lower lash line if I'm doing any makeup. This just brightens up my eyes and gives it a little bit more of that roundness I like to accentuate. And I'm using up my Antonym eyeliner pencil. This is so great. It's in brown. It's a clean product. And what I like about this brand, it's very slow in launching new products as well. So it's all about like effective products for your makeup collection and not forcing you to constantly buy, buy, buy. So with eyeliner, I just do this and I smudge with my finger. What I like about a pencil liner for quick makeup days is you can be as sloppy as you want and just kind of smudge it in and you're done. Even though the Detox Market Wall People box this month has the eyeliner and the mascara, I'm going to hold off on opening these because I want to use up the stuff I currently have. Now, the Well People Mascara is one of my favorite clean mascaras in terms of curl, volume, and length. It also lasts a long time on my eyes. The only issue is if it gets in my eyes, it burns like no other. There's an ingredient in it that my eyes just cannot stand, and it only happens as I'm washing it off or if I sweat and it gets into my eyes. The eyeliner... A lot of people love this thing. I love it for that messy eyeliner look. It does not last on my eyes all day. It will smudge, it will budge for me. Some people have no issues with it. So what I like about it is because it is so black and op opaque, it's a great clean liquid eyeliner. But my Zuzu one is definitely much better. This one though, I like creating kind of the same effect that I did with my pencil liner with this just a little bit darker, a little more grungy and smokier. I've tried all of those products before. I just wanted to give you a little input in case you were curious about getting that box. Um, a lot of people have no issues with either one. I'm just one of those people that do have issues. And I'm using my Lily Lolo mascara. This was recommended to me by Indy Lee, who is an incredible, incredible woman. And if you don't know about Indy Lee and her skincare, she was one of the first season's guests on Behind the Beauty podcast, which is free for you guys to listen to and download. And I will always have that podcast linked in the description box in case you're curious. Look how much more awake my eyes just look. Finishing off the look, I'm going to use a little bit of this blush from my palette from Cover FX. And oh, they do have two different palettes. So this one's light to medium. And then for highlighter, I'm going to go in with the golden highlight here. I'm going to try out this finishing powder. And because I don't like that powdery look, but I definitely need powder. What is that? My skin is really dry. I'm going to spray everything down. Let me Radiant Setting Mist. Most days I don't wear a lip product, I just want my lips to be hydrated, but I'm going to try this new lipstick to me. This is the Well People Optimist Semi Matte Lipstick in Soul Matte. It 
it's nice. I like it. It's my everyday makeup routine if I want to put a little effort into my appearance. If I don't have to leave the house and I'm just doing a lot of editing, I won't wear any makeup. Maybe I'll do my brows and a little concealer, but this is kind of like my put together face feeling presentable, feeling confident, feeling feeling like I can conquer the world a little bit more. And of course, I do have a more in-depth routine where I put on actual foundation and maybe do a little contouring and highlighting for meetings and events or if I'm filming or just want to look a little bit even more put together. And I can definitely do a tutorial and share with you that makeup routine if you'd like. Just let me know in the comment section. As always, thank you so much for watching till the end. I really appreciate it. I love you guys so much and I love this community that we've built here together. Thank you so much for supporting me. Um, those of you guys who follow me on Instagram and enter those weekly giveaways, I really appreciate it. Showing your support by subscribing, watching, liking my videos, and commenting, it really does help me out and helps me be able to continue to keep creating fun, exciting content. So I hope to see you guys back here every Friday, Sunday, and Tuesdays. Don't forget to vote for the, my next video over on the community tab. Bye.